Uh, hi everyone, episode 268 of the Apple Age Show comes out uh, tonight and our guest is Trent Mader, uh, a man who um, has done many things in his life but his current passion is walking long pilgrimages in Europe. It's, the, it's, it's, it's called the Camino de Santiago. So I still haven't mastered that. No. Camino de Santiago. De Santiago. So it's just the, the journey or the to Santiago, which is uh, Spanish for St. James. Right, well, there you go. Along the way, into the territory of Spain that is renowned for ham. I'm going to have a taste of this. What, what, tell us about the, uh, the treats awaiting you when well, you get well, there. Well, one of the great things about Spain uh, is the food mm -hmm. and the, the regional uh, differences. But ham is one of the, uh, the staples of the tapas and pinchos that they have. And of course the wine, and we will. Here we are. Uh, you need to lift that up so it's yeah. in camera. We're doing this together, <laughs> only to be only to be authentic. That's, that's the only right. reason. That's right. Mm. And so the the wine in Spain is uh, is very good. It's it's slightly it's certainly different from ours, but uh, so they have some great Tempranillo and mm -hmm. uh, very uh, old tradition of wine making. And now, of course, we've got this in glasses. When you're doing these walks, some of which are like 800 kilometres. Uh, you wouldn't be drinking out of this, would you? No, well, obviously the restaurants and the bars have glasses, yep. but um, we, were talk we were talking about uh, a particular area in uh, Spain where as you leave a village they have a large winery and they have a tap on the wall where you can either get a tap and fill your water bottle up with uh, water or you can fill it up with wine. Um, now that's the sort of tapas I'd like. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and it would be very useful if for, perhaps for tourism in the Barossa if if one of the wineries there would take up the idea of having free wine on tap. Well, the brewery uh, in Adelaide has a tap for spring water. That's right, and it's always water. busy. Yeah, it is always busy. Imagine the <laughs> wine. Um, now, a couple of quick things uh, that we get into is not just that particular walk. There's a lot you'll learn if you have any interest in doing an extended walk as part of your travel, tourism, call it what you like. We get inside Trent's mind, and you're very much a planner. Uh, this backpack over your shoulder, you haven't wilted under the weight, why no, is that? it's because uh, we try and pack light um, and that's one of the secrets of uh, going for a walk. Yep. Try and uh, pack uh, appropriately for the how, distance you do. How much does your backpack weigh when it's um, empty? Base weight is around five kilograms, so that's what you sort of... Right. You but take, by, but take the backpack it itself is about a few hundred grams. A few hundred grams, but that's, every, that's fully loaded without water. Or and just have a look at his shoes. They are lightweight boots. Aren't they? Uh, we, we had the discussion around whether you should wear boots or uh, trail shoes. Um, there is a mu much controversy in the uh, backpacking <laughs> area about this. I, I favour lightweight boots, yep. and which is a sort of compromise between the two. But yep. it's whatever helps. But the main thing is to to always. Uh, make sure they fit properly and are worn in before you yeah. hit the trail. Now, last couple of things technically. I'm wearing what I wore <laughs> when I did my journey through Arcarola. I used to wear shirts, just nice cotton shirts. Uh, I've got my canvas breathable uh, hiking pants and I've got sand shoes. You've got the proper shoes, but I always wore this. This is my trusty hat for when I'm out in the Aussie bush on the Camino to Santiago, do you wear a hat? That would fit, yes, um, oh. I do. But uh, anything, yeah, I do. But um, I always try and choose a different sort of hat for every walk. You can wear whatever you like. <laughs> okay, lots of stories abound. Trent, thanks for sharing them. The, the whole episode's out later tonight, uh, mm. including wine from Howard Vineyard, uh, Brett from Adelaide Day and uh, Night and Day Therapy, uh, Family Therapy, and also the new song from Donnarumma, which is guaranteed to punch you in the face, is what they say. Indeed. Do you want to just hit me there? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, it's out tonight. It's on uh, iTunes in your favourite podcast player, episode 268 of the Adelaide Show.